How important is having equal power in your relationship? Having a sense of power may be more important than feeling equal. Unfortunately, uh, that's something that can ruin an entire relationship. Uh, because then uh, ego, control, pride, all of those things just become poison that just taints the relationship because it ruins the amount of uh, trust um, and uh, eagerness uh, that can exist between both parties. Um, a relationship is arguably best when not only a sense of profound trust has been established, but when both parties have a genuine eagerness to please each other. Um, and you know, when you try to control somebody too much, when you try to, um, especially if you haven't communicated well enough to understand each other's clear, clearest boundaries, um, eventually, you know, that, 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 that level of wanting to that extreme level, which, which it often becomes, if it's not, uh, uh, obviously extreme, it's perceived as extreme by the person who feels like they're being slighted in the, re in the relationship, uh, that, that sense of wanting to control someone or, or forbidding, you know, uh, your, your other half from doing specific things because of your own feelings, because of your own beliefs. Really the funny thing about this, about topics like these is that seemingly complicated situations like these, th this complex web of, of power, uh, and submission, uh, especially, um, especially resented submission, resentful submission, these complicated situations often stem from simple circumstances. It's often just a lack of communication. It's often just really a lack of understanding who the person really is that you're getting involved with. You're willing to overlook certain things about a person because they're able to, uh, they make you uh, feel a certain way that perhaps you've never felt before. They're able to afford you a specific lifestyle. Um, you, get a, you get a certain level of status from being with them that you wouldn't have gotten from anybody else. So people often overlook things in a relationship that could prove destructive later on. Uh, because of short term, uh, because of short term feeling, short term satisfaction. But regardless, this uh, this article is written by Gwendolyn Seidman, PhD, for Psychology Today. Who has more power in your romantic relationship, you or your partner? Does one of you seem to have more of a say than the other, or is your relationship egalitarian, with each of you getting your way some of the time? or having more influence over some matters than others. When asked, most people say that the ideal situation is when both partners have equal say. That's extremely debatable. That's extremely debatable. And it also depends on what kind of relationship you're in. Most relationships, I would argue, uh, are most relationships are never in a position where both people really have equal say. Somebody in a relationship, uh, as they say, wears the pants or at least wears the heaviest pants. Uh, and by that, what that often means is that one member of a relationship or a marriage often bears more responsibility than the other. And that bearing of responsibility, um, uh, uh, wordlessly, uh, it implies that they're able to uh, take more control of the relationship uh, because more responsibility, um, more responsibility is supposed to more responsibility is supposed to afford someone the ability to command uh, because it means that they're they're trusted to take on things that the other isn't isn't willing to uh, either because it's it's too difficult too fearful um, or because they just they have no interest so th this uh, but oftentimes in my opinion it doesn't matter if it's the man or the woman there is all, usually a situation most relationships are uh, established with a even if it's an, an unspoken understanding one person has one person wears heavier pants in the relationship which gives them more power uh, even if the other party even if their better half or their other half uh, is not willing to to admit it they, they know it but sometimes they just won't admit it because their pride is getting in the way they don't want to be perceived as less than which is often the case with women in relationships uh, I've noticed in my in my experience is that women who exist in a relationship where they're not able or willing to financially contribute to most of the things that exist in that union, um, they still, even in that case, they'll fight to 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 keep and exercise more control than has actually been earned in the relationship. Because you have to look at it from another way. 
when someone assumes more responsibility in, in a relationship, and in this case, it's often going to be financial. If someone has assumed more financial responsibility in a relationship, that should by default mean that they have more command over um, over how over the direction of the relationship. Okay. Um, it doesn't mean that they become a totalitarian. It doesn't mean that they become some kind of tyrant. Okay. It doesn't mean that the other, uh, their other half's opinions on where the relationship go are meaningless. Uh, but it, it definitely means like, it definitely means even, even in, 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 you know, crazy scenarios or more extreme scenarios in which, you know, the person who is earning more, the person who is contributing more financially in the relationship, let's say they get a new job in another state. And in order to maintain the quality of life that both parties are used to, they have to move. They're going to have to uh, move and readjust to another setting because um, it, it pays more or, or perhaps they're losing their job in this place and they have to move to find uh, another job that pays the same amount at another place. There are going to be many circumstances in which you know the person who is not financially contributing to the relationship will push back on that idea or... Uh, they'll they'll grow to resent you know the person who is who has taken the responsibility of of um of earning the bread right because being the breadwinner in the relationship um it, it's simply because they they simply because they don't simply because they don't like what's what's happening right the the person who is not contributing more or the person who is not contributing as much uh can 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 really put a damper uh, it's funny too, because it, and I often find that we are often the architects of our own misery, right? Like we often make things, and, and I would argue this is definitely true for most women. We often, uh, uh, we often, and especially women, they make situations more difficult. They often make situations more difficult than they have to, all because of the way that some something, uh, all because of the way that the trajectory of, of a relationship uh uh, often the arbitrary trajectories of a relationship are going simply because they just don't they 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 think that a lot of women think that they can maintain a level of power uh that they can main, uh, maintain or assume a level of power in a relationship that should really truly be afforded to someone who is bearing the brunt of of the most difficult uh, aspect of relationship, which is providing for it, and that's 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 not the case. It's not it's not fair. Um, to it's it's well, I understand that it goes both ways, but um, it's just not realistic to expect that, especially as a woman, uh, for a woman to to want to steer the relationship wherever she wants to, to to have the final say in most things, and 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 still expect their her other half to go through the toil, the strife, the struggle of uh, keeping the relationship where it is financially. In short, just providing for, for essentially everything. Now, I will say that most relationships aren't going to be like that, especially in this era. Most relationships don't exist in which uh, the man is financially providing for everything and the woman is just taking a second seat and you know maintaining the household and raising the children. That's a very conservative, it's a very traditional uh, view of relationships, and it's not necessarily realistic to what the common man experiences. Most people are going to be in relationships where both have to provide a a, a significant, um, where both have to uh, have to hold a, a significant uh, amount of weight in order to keep the relationship afloat, uh, especially uh, as far as the, their financial situation is concerned. So, uh, in that case, um, you know, you, you're really look at your in that case you're really looking at uh which is still going to be the case with the other conservative traditional relationship but you're really just looking at a case of of trust you're looking at a case of communic you're looking at a case of how well are you able to communicate and you're looking at a case of uh who you're looking at a, at a case of who's willing to sacrifice uh who's willing to take who's willing to take the selfless step to accept sacrifice okay uh, it doesn't have to be both people in a relationship. Um, ideally, it would be both. You know, when you're in a relationship with somebody, ideally, it is best for both people to understand that there are going to be many circumstances throughout their relationship in which they're going to have to sacrifice doing things that they may enjoy or even pursuing their dreams for the sake of just keeping things afloat. Um, 
is that the way that most people want things to be? Absolutely not. Most people don't want to have to sacrifice uh, in order to build the relationship of their dreams, but unfortunately, that's not realistic. Um, but I mean, it's. I think the, the, the my point. I know I kind of went on a, a another. Uh, I kind of rambled a little bit more. The point is that th- these kinds of situations, uh, in my opinion, they often stem from just simple circumstances. It's a matter of uh, what ki- what what kind of trust have you established in your relationship, um, and, and how well are you able to communicate with each other. Um, and it comes down to really understanding the person that you're getting into a relationship with because eh, anyway, that, that's a, that's a conversation for another time, but the article continues. Uh, new research by Robert Corner and Astrid Schultz just published in social psychological and personality science asks how much equal power matters in romantic relationships. Numerous studies have shown that people are happier if they believe they have control over important outcomes in their lives. It follows that a sense of power in one's romantic relationship is also important when it comes to having a happy uh, relationship. In relationships, what matters most is felt power. That is, a person's belief that they have a say in their relationship. It doesn't matter as much whether the person actually has control, only that they feel in control. And that that's something that, uh, as men, uh, I, I, I think more of us need to really understand. It's quite easy to uh, create the illusion for a woman that she actually has more control in a relationship than she actually thinks, um, simply by doing a lot of simple things. I mean... Being a good listener is an easy way to kind of create that illusion. Um, but really, I would argue that most women don't really want to um, have the levels of control that really establish uh, the direction of a relationship. Most women are more than happy, uh, in my opinion, to just let go, relax, and allow the man that they're with to really take the reins and um uh, uh, dictate the speed of, of a relationship and, and it's, uh, it's, uh, it's trajectory towards success, whatever that may be. The problem with that is that now then you're going down a path of asking yourself, well, does the woman, does the, the man that a woman is with, does the woman, uh, does the woman that a, a, does a, does a woman really respect her man? Right. Because th- these these conversations about power and control, a lot of it really has to do with how much a woman respects the guy that she's with. If a woman doesn't respect the guy that she's with at all, then all the this conversation about control and 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 trust and all that stuff, it really has no credence. It really doesn't do anything because re- respect has to be established first, meaning that the guy that she's with is someone that uh, that she that she understands is, I mean, really it's up to the man to tick those boxes, but in a woman's mind, it has to be a guy who, who is a man of his word, um, knows, uh, uh, knows when to, uh, use discipline and not to knows when, when, and when not to use discipline, even with her, um, a guy who has a, uh, an impactful, uh, an impactful, financial stake in the relationship, meaning that he is able, meaning that he's, he's not someone who's not contributing in a major way to the relationship financially. Um, you know, someone in in a large part, I mean, the kind of guy that most women want to be with is a guy who's respected by the rest of the world too. I mean, if, if a woman is with a guy who's not respected by, you know, people that they see when they're out and about, or even in his professional field and things like that, it's like, those kinds of things really impact the way that a woman perceives a man psychologically. And re- if, if respect hasn't been established um, and if the relationship has been created and uh, has gone on for other reasons, be, again, going back to people are willing to overlook certain things in order to uh, people are willing to overlook things in a relationship that can be damaging in the future because of X, Y, and Z, a lack of respect being one of those things. Um, you know, you're not, you're not looking, you're not looking at a situation where you're not looking at a situation where you're not looking at a rewarding situation, right? You're looking at a situation that eventually is going to create cracks. Those cracks are going to fracture into, into larger webs of cracks. And eventually the whole thing is just going to crumble and fall apart. Um, but the article continues. Couples therapists are often encouraged to help clients achieve a power balance within their relationship. Uh, Some studies appear to show that couples with power imbalances experience less 
satisfying relationships. Uh, I, again, I, you know, a lot of this stuff, in my opinion, it'll just depend on what kind of relationship uh, you, you're talking about. I mean, a traditional conservative relationship is really going to work. Uh, the, 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 in a, in, in a relationship like that, the power dynamic is really going to shift towards the man. In most of those cases, the woman is going to think that she has, um, some kind of level of control. And maybe she actually does if she, if she knows the man that she's with well enough and her character has been built well enough in order for her to, um, influence outcomes. Because a, a lot of women think that, the thing about a lot of women is they think that their ability to influence outcomes or getting their way in the long run is going to come uh, by virtue of, of their appearance, right? They think they they think because they just look good enough or they're able to bat their eyelashes or, you know, talk cute or whatever, it's going to that's going to give them the level of control in a relationship uh, that they desire when really in the long run, in my opinion, that's not the route to success. The route to success when it comes to a woman being able to to influence a relationship in a manner that gives her either the illusion of control or actual um like actual quantifiable levels of control that's going to be determined by her character, not by her looks and that in itself is going to come from how much respect the man has for his woman uh, uh and that 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 respect is only see a man respects a woman uh based on her behavior. That's really what what a lot of uh, women don't understand. They think that, you know, that they can just look good and they can uh, treat a man however they want to and, and pout and complain and all this stuff. And because of their looks, because of their appearance, they can just get away with a lot of stuff that other women wouldn't be able to. In the long run, that doesn't work because a man's respect, a man respects a woman uh, because of her uh, behavior. Of course, after sexual compatibility has been established and all that stuff, but uh uh, uh, that's how a man respects a woman. I'm, I respect you and I respect the words that you have in our relationship. I, I respect your counsel. I respect the things that you have to say. I respect your, your, I respect the, the, the place that you have in this union because I respect the way that you're able to conduct yourself. Okay. Um, but some studies show that couples with power imbalances experience less satisfying relationships. Again, that just, I don't know a lot of this stuff. I know a lot of this stuff is really, um, it's, uh, what's the, what's the word? Um, it's a uh, speculative, I suppose. Like it, it really just depends on the relationship. Um, but I mean, even then I would argue that most people want to be in traditional relationships, even if they don't think they do. Most people would prefer to be in traditional relationships, even women who, who think that they want to be in relationships where they, where they wear the pants, where they're the one in power, where they're the one who dictates the trajectory of the relationship. Even those women, especially as time goes on, they learn themselves that they really don't want to experience the stress and the responsibility and the burden that often comes from taking that place in a relationship. What they want to do is they want to relax. They want to sit back. They want to allow someone else uh, who is m more willing and more able to take on the the often uh, crippling responsibilities that come from taking that from 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 assuming that billet? They want that person to just take care of everything, and they are more than willing to take a second seat. They're more than willing to take the co-pilot role. Um, and but the article continues. However, the way the data were analyzed in those studies left open the possibility that the results were due to each partner's overall level of power, not differences in power between partners. What matters more, feeling powerful in general or not feeling less powerful than your partner? It's a, it's a good question. In four studies surveying nearly 1,000 couples, Corner and Sh and oh, it's not Schultz, it's Schutz. Shoots? Shuts. I'm just going to say Shuts. Uh, asked both partners to rate their relationship satisfaction or sexual satisfaction as well as their personal sense of power in the relationship. Questions assessing power asked respondents to rate their agreement with statements such as, in the relationship with my partner, I can get him or her to listen to what I say, and if I want to, I get to make the decisions. Mm. Across all four studies, personal power was related to greater satisfaction. The more the people felt they had a say in the relationship, the happy the happier they were. Well, of course. Uh, 
No one wants to feel like they're just、uh, being used or being ignored. No one likes to feel like they're just they. No one likes to feel one of two things. No one wants to feel like a they're in some cage and they exist purely to to be the source of amusement for the person that they're with, but but but, but without any meaningful. Um, emotional significance, right? With any meaningful emotional stimulation,、uh, you know, nobody wants to feel like the gimp, right? Nobody wants to feel that way. So nobody wants to feel that way. A,、um, and then B, no one wants to feel ignored. No one wants to feel like、uh, there. No one wants to feel like there's there's. No one wants to feel or be told that they're stupid or that their opinion doesn't matter or that they should just shut up and go sit in the corner somewhere. Um, no one wants to feel like their words have no weight in a relationship. In addition, not only did one's own feeling of power contribute to satisfaction, but so did one's partner's power. That is, people whose partners felt powerful tend to be more satisfied. However, there was no evidence that both partners having similar levels of power to one another related to satisfaction. Whether both members of the couple had equal power or there was a mismatch in power was unrelated to how satisfied the couple was with their relationship.、Uh, and that makes perfect sense. I mean, like I said, in my opinion, the most the most、uh, successful relationships and even the ones that most people want are one in which. One member of that relationship clearly has more power than the other.、Uh, that they, that they, 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 they want. Most people want to be in a situation where, and the, 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 what I mean by that is that most people just don't want to be blindly. They don't want to be in a relationship where the where one person or their other half has blind power, right? Where they just they're just uh, uh, assuming they've got power, or they just. Uh, flaunt their power. They they mismanage and misuse their power. That's not what I'm saying. But most people want to be in a situation where they trust that giving power to their other half is something that's going to lead to the success of their relationship. That's what I mean. Most people want to be in relationships, and again, it just boils down to simple circumstances. It's just trust. Most people want to, especially most women, they want to trust. They want to be in a situation where they just can let go and trust. That、uh, th- that that being in a situation where their other half has more power is going to、um, uh, be rewarding in the future.、Uh, both partners having a sense of power is what matters, and if your partner feels more powerful than you do, that is unlikely to affect your level of satisfaction with the relationship.